Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to create a post in WordPress. Okay, to begin, please log in to the back end of your WordPress website. If you don't remember how to do that, just enter in your website address slash WP admin, and then you'll be taken to your login page. Once you're there, let's go ahead first and just look at the dashboard. If you direct your attention to the left, you will have a quick press option. This is one way to actually write posts. It's a really quick way though. You enter in your title, content, tags, it uploads it to your default um, category and you publish it and you're off and it's good to go. And you can up also upload some media here as well. You don't have the options that you would if you would go over here, but that is one way to do it. So just keep that in mind if you're in a hurry or you just want to make a quick little post. But anyway, let's go here to the post menu option and let's check out how to do it this way. When we go here, you'll see that you have a list of your posts or you will actually once you get working on your website. Right now, we only have one post on this list and that's the default um, post that was included with the WordPress install. So you can go in there if you want to look at it and see how everything is done. But for right now, I'm actually just going to delete it because I don't want it. And in this tutorial, we're gonna make our own post. So I'm just simply going to go and hit trash. But also, I will point out, you can also view the post this way, you can quickly edit it, which will give you those limited options that we saw with the quick press options, or you can edit it completely with the whole robust options. Just pointing that out just for your future reference. Anyway, I'm just gonna hit trash to get rid of that. And it's not going to get rid of it completely. It'll actually appear in your trash option right here. And as you can see, I already have a couple of posts in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and click add new either here or here. You can do it both ways. And now, as you can see, we have more options located right here. At the top here, we're going to put in the title of our post. So I'm just gonna put in title test for right now. And down here is where we do the actual content of the post. Now, the as you can see, this kind of looks similar to a word processing program or maybe even email. So you can bold your text, italicize it, you can cross it out, you can underline it, you can change the size of it. You have all these really easy accessible options right here. If you don't have these options located right down here, simply press this button right here to toggle that on and off. Um, that's just something to keep in mind if you want those extra options right there. But anyway, I'm just gonna type in a quick little thing here really quick. And as you can see, as I was saying, you can bold it, italicize it, and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty self-explanatory with that. However, if you are looking to be a bit more advanced with your posts, you can always use the HTML option as opposed to the visual option. So if you click that, you can edit this all in HTML. And again, that's completely optional. You don't have to do that. You can toggle that visual back if you choose to. Now we can also upload images. If we go to, actually we can upload more than images. We can upload video, audio, and even just media in general, like flash media for instance. But if you click this, you are brought to a screen where you can upload a file from your computer. And that's really self-explanatory. You just click select files, it'll bring you to your um, computer and you can browse to find which image you want to upload. Or you can bring it in from another website. Let's say there's a, another website you have that you have an image on. You can simply put in the address right here, put in the title, maybe a caption, and you can then bring that image onto your website. Finally, the media library will show all images and media that you have uploaded so far. So you can easily reuse images or different media from past posts and just grab them from here. And I'll get to the media library in a future tutorial a bit more in depth on how to use that. Anyway, you have all that. 
So if we scroll down here, you have your excerpt, which basically allows you to create a summary of your post. Let's say you have a really long post here, and on your home page, you want to display just maybe a brief one or two sentence summary of that post. This is where you would do that. Trackbacks allow you to, let's say you put a link or you link to another blog in your post up here. A trackback will allow you to send a notification to them, allowing them to know that you link to their website. And this is actually kind of more for if someone is using an older content management system as it notifies you down here, if they're using a WordPress blog, it'll automatically let them know that you link to their blog. And again, it's kind of more of a courtesy thing and just to, it's also good for search engines too, they have those link backs. So anyway, if we come down here to the discussion part, you can either allow comments or disallow them, or as I was just talking about with the trackbacks, you can automatically set it so the trackbacks are pinged to your comments section. So those are just a couple of little things right there. And this is good too to keep in mind if you don't want comments for a particular section. And I would always keep this track backs on, just <clears throat> again, it's good for search engines and all that kind of stuff. Finally, if we come up here, you have your publish, publish section, which allows you to save as a draft, <clears throat> preview or publish. Saving as a draft will allow you to save your post and come back to it later. <clears throat> it won't actually publish on your website. Previewing it obviously allows you to preview what you've currently done and what it may look like on your website in its current state. And publishing it will actually put it on your website. So make sure you're completely all done with your post before you hit publish, just <clears throat> because your viewers will see that post once you hit publish. Tags <clears throat> allow you to basically mark certain posts if they have certain content in them. So let's say for instance you do a post on a video game. You might want to tag that as a video game post then, or a computer game post. Because then, let's say later on you have more um, posts that are about video games, or a certain type of video game, maybe it's about a certain movie you will put the movie title in that tag. Then your users can click on that tag to go to similar posts that you have made and they can get the information they need from that. So that's something good to always keep up on is your tags. And always separate your tags with a comma. So they can be two worded tags but just make sure there's a comma in between them. Finally you have your categories and this is more for broader things. Let's say for instance you your website is primarily about, let's just use video games again, but let's say you have um, articles on different systems of video games. You might then want to create categories for each of these systems, especially if there's a lot of posts for each system. So let's just put in for instance Super Nintendo. And the parent category versus the category that you could put it under is basically the difference between making it a just a main category or a subcategory. So I have Super Nintendo and I'll add that. Then let's say I want to make another category about the FX chip in the Super Nintendo. I don't know, I'm just kind of generalizing here. You can then choose to put that category under the Super Nintendo category. So again, this is a great way just to organize your posts, especially if you have a lot of posts on certain different things like Super Nintendo games or whatever. But anyway, you can put your post under multiple categories. So you can put under Super Nintendo, the FX chip, maybe you have another category, you can check that. And that will be then, and then people can, like the tags, people can then browse to those categories to check out certain posts you have made. So that basically covers it. And just to show you here, this is my home page. I have published the post and you can see it right here. And you can see that it has been posted in those two categories I specified. The categories are also listed on my menu right here as well. And so when you click on the title to go to it, it'll actually you'll actually go to the actual post itself and then you can leave a reply or you can do other things like that. So there you go. 
that pretty much covers it. I will be covering more tutorials soon, so be on the lookout. I'll be covering categories and tags in more depth, and I'll be going over media and all kinds of different stuff. So stay tuned, there's more coming up.